My name is Engineer Babagana Digima. I'm the head new media and information security department of the Nigerian Communications Commission. The NCC, as a regulator of the telecommunications industry, is directly not responsible or not. Fraud detection is not under our purview per se. However, AI as a technology is something that is related. Everything is interconnected these days. AI is related to uh, internet technologies. It's also related to the communications technologies. So what we are doing, just like other sectors, um, we're looking at AI from all perspectives, especially as it relates to subscriber data, for instance. It relates to the consumption of the information, what is being generated from AI, things like that. So those are key areas where the NCC has an interest in AI, and we're also looking at the global perspective. What is AI doing? How about the regulation of AI? Who is going to be responsible for what? Um, what information, particularly in terms of safeguarding information, subscriber data, subscriber information, stuff like that that have relation to the communications industry. So we are at the moment, we are looking at AI from a wider perspective in terms of regulation, especially. That is why the NCC as a regulator instituted in the first place the SIM registration, which is the KYC for the telecommunications industry. And we safeguard those data in line with um, the best industry practices. We're also subject, of course, to the Nigerian Data Protection Commission's guidelines and other um, extant rules. So we safeguard that data. The access of those data is only, even to the commission, is not something that we get direct access to. It has to be through the requirements. For instance, if law enforcement are looking for that data, we still provide it through the mobile network operators or other operators. Because we want to be seen as a regulator, we are not interfering with subscriber data, especially. Number one, I think it's an event that it's really topical. The, what we discuss are things that are relevant not only to the payment industry, but to individuals as Nigerians, we should be very conscious of security, especially cyber security, security as relates to our funds, security as relates to how we deal with other agencies and so on. So it's a very good event to have. Business Day should expand the scope, is my suggestion, because it's not only fraud, but we also have to look at illicit movement of funds, um, which is one of the challenges that, of course, um, the industry or rather Nigeria as a country is facing at the moment. So we have to look at not only fraudulent use, but also illicit movements of funds and so on. I think Business Day, without a doubt, is the number one newspaper regarding any serious business in Nigeria. Not only in Nigeria, but other places as well, they look towards the information that Business Day is putting. We as um, a commission, we subscribe to Business Day, um, both hard copy and soft copy. And we read it, even though we are a regulator, not a money-making venture, but we still take our time to read Business Day because it's the, all the important information about, not only about our industry, but about the general health of the Nigerian business environments can be found in the Business Day newspaper. So it's, uh, it's the number one in business reporting.